Hey, Aaron Dade here from King Blueprint, and today I want to discuss the importance of being self-aware, because I think what ends up happening a lot of times when we're discussing or thinking about life in general, that so many things pile on top of ourselves on our own shoulders, where we lose ourselves in all of that muck, you know, and we become unself-aware, so we forget about ourselves. And so I want to talk about the ability to remember yourself and to prioritize remembering yourself and not to forget yourself by not prioritizing your own self-care and not prioritizing your self-care in things that mean something to you. What I find a lot of times when we're talking to somebody, whether it's life coaching, whether it's relationship coaching, whether it's marriage restoration coaching, no matter what we're doing, um, I find a lot of times it's difficult to explain the concept of self-care because most people are thinking of self-care as being selfish. Um, they're thinking about only themselves and how they feel, and so therefore they negate the idea of self-care. Self-care is about taking care of yourself and prioritizing yourself yourself and things that you value and that mean something to you in general. It's not necessarily about what your spouse values or what your spouse thinks that you may value. It's about what you value in general. So in order to have proper self-care, you need to be self-aware enough to say, what do I actually value and why do I value it? So for example, for me, one thing that I value is I value watching National Geographic. Those are one thing that I value. I also value sports. I'm a competitive person in general. I like to, I like the values of competing. However, I'm competitive because I love the ability to learn different things. I love learning. Um, I, I am a connoisseur of knowledge is something that I say all the time. I love to learn things. And so in competing, um, I was taught from a very young age that if you play the game and you lose, you need to know how you need to respect losing because it teaches you how to win. So if you lose and don't learn anything, then there's no point in playing the game at all. So the reason why I'm competitive is because I like to learn. So then when I look at sports, I'm learning at what's happening in baseball games. I'm learning what's happening in basketball games. I'm learning what's happening in football games. I'm learning about tennis. I'm learning about, um, in some cases, cricket. I'm learning about different other things, Aussie football, soccer, learning different aspects of different games. Um, that's part of my nature. That's part of things that I value. So every day I spend about 10 minutes on ESPN or on a different sports website, just looking at sports and just looking at highlights and enjoying that competitive nature. That is me. It allows me to do some of the things that I do and speak to multiple different people on a regular basis all over the world. So that, that is part of me being self-aware, knowing that if I don't get this little 10 minutes of my day for me, then I'm not going to be good for for all these other people. So I am self-aware enough to know that I need to cut out 10 minutes of my day for something that I value. Um, Nat Geo is one of the ways that I connect with, with my creator, with my, um, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and with God. I can see his creation and it, it just, I marvel at his, what he has made and how perfect it is and how it works and to me, it's a, it's just an incredible aspect. And so I make sure that I cut out a good half an hour, an hour to watch a documentary for myself. The rest of my family, for the most part, except for my wife, she enjoys it from time to time if it has to do with the ocean. But me, I like... Um, National Ge Geographic, I like documentaries, again, because I like learning, and also because it's a way that I can connect with God. So I spend about an hour um, every couple weeks or so just watching a documentary and learning something new. So in this case, the last time that I did this was last weekend, I learned about the hippopotamus, um, because in relationships, when I do another video, we will talk about um, things not being at first, they're the elephant in the room, and then they turn into the hippopotamus. And if you know anything about an angry hippo, you don't want to be anywhere near it. So anyways, these are 
different ways that I know that I'm being self-aware and handling my own self-care so I can be the best version of myself. Um, so again, this is Aaron Dade with Kingdom Blueprint, and I will see you guys again soon.